we're then going to consolidate at those highs, right? And you can see where that, right, where that flag, where that pennant comes from. Same thing the downside. We push down. We're then going to consolidate at the low, right? There's our pennant to the downside. So, of course, trending down, trending up, guys. That's a great example of a bull and a bear flag or pennant. Let's keep moving. Next up, what about engulfing candles, right? Engulfing candles. Now, engulfing candles can be bullish or bearish as well. Now, what happens with an engulfing pattern here is, is when a narrow range candle is followed by a wider range candle. Okay, and you can see here, what it looks like is, is we have, first of all, right, the tight and narrow candle that tells us weak price action, right, very narrow, and then the second candle here breaks above and below it, right, that's going to be considered a strong price action candle, right, and those are called engulfing. Now, as you can imagine, we call that engulfing because it engulfs the entire trading range of the previous candle. All right, and then not don't forget about long bottoms, right? Long bottom tails or long top tails. Okay, we call those hammers. All right, now of course you've got the inverted hammer. This will be this will be bearish. Right, price moving down. Then you've got the right your typical hammer, which of course is bullish. Right, price moving up. Right, pretty simple, right? Pretty simple stuff. So a bullish candlestick, right, or a bullish hammer will have that long bottom tail, okay, just like here on, on the right side here. And then you've got, of course, a, a a bearish, right, a bearish candlestick pattern, a bearish hammer, which would be what we call an inverted hammer. An inverted hammer, right, inverted meaning upside down, okay, is going to look like a hammer put put head side down. Okay, that'll be a short Right, a, a short term trend. All right, guys? So lots of different patterns, but these are going to be the most important here. So we talked about some bullish, we talked about some bearish. Now, what about indecisive? Right? This happens all the time. What if we don't get any real confirmation? What if we're not seeing an inverted hammer, right? Or a regular hammer? What if we're not seeing a bull flag? We're not seeing a bear flag. What if what if all we're seeing here is this? Well, guys, indecisive price patterns, guys, these tell us that price action is indecisive. Okay, so beware that the market may be changing here. Okay, so candlesticks with long top and bottom tails, right, in a narrow body, okay, these are considered indecisive. So basically what, what we have to assume has happened here is, okay, as we came out, right, the buyers made this a real strong candle. They pushed up. They pushed down. So lots of strong price action. But then all of a sudden, what do we see? We see almost like this retreat, right? Back up there. We see this retreat back down here. Almost as if the market says, well, we went looking for big buyers up top. Couldn't find any, so we came tumbling back down. We went looking for sellers down bottom. We couldn't find any, so we came back up, right? And here we sit now right in the middle of that trading range. Now, guys, as you guys know, we don't trade the middle, do we? We trade the extremes. So this candlestick pattern, these indecisive patterns, where you see these long tops and bottom tails, and this very narrow, right, what they call the body of the candle, right, that's going to be a sign of indecisiveness. Now, where are we going to see these the most? We're going to see indecisive patterns here, guys, on our slower time frames. That's where, that's where they're most important. If I see a 30-minute chart with an indecisive, what we call a doji, Right? These are called dojis. Oftentimes, the nickname for these are called dojis. Right? And a doji, again, is just simply going to have that, right, that, that very tight body right, and the big, and the big wick. Okay, it's a doji. It went up, came back down. Went down, came back up, and it sits right in the middle. Right, guys? So whenever we see a doji on a 34 range or a 30 minute or even worse, a daily chart, right? if we see dojis, what that means is we've got to sit on those hands and wait for the market to change a little bit. Okay, it's very easy to wait for a doji to become an inverted hammer or to become a bull flag, right? Or some sort of pattern that will tell us what the trend will be. And then we can trade with the trend from there. All right, guys? Great job. Great job. Good looking, good looking stuff here. So indecisive patterns, bullish patterns, bearish patterns, guys. But how do we make money with this stuff? 
right? How many times have you gone to a trade room and the educator spent two hours talking about all these patterns and by the end of two hours you're sitting there going, all right, so where's the meat and potatoes? Where do I make the money, right? Where do I get into a trade using this information and where do I make money? Guys, if you've been searching for an education out there that shows you not only what these things are, but how to use them, guys, that's exactly what we do in our live trade rooms to make sure you guys come out and join us. But guys, I don't know about you, but I need some specific instructions now. How do I use these candlestick patterns to make me some money out there? Because as you guys can imagine, right, just a quick, simple Google search right now of candlestick patterns, and you'll have pages and pages and pages of lots of information. So day traders can get lost in a sea of patterns, right? Useless patterns that will never make us any money. So how do we know which of these hundreds of patterns to use and which to simply, right, keep in the back burner? Well, of course, it's as simple as one, two, three. The first step is, is get familiar with the candlestick patterns covered in our beginner, intermediate, and advanced courses. Now, we've talked about a, a couple of them here. Right, we talked about dojis, we talked about hammers, we talked about bull flags, we talked about bear flags. We've talked about a bunch of very simple patterns here that we use every day in our trade room. Now we'll go into more detail about all of this stuff, of course, in our advanced course materials. Specifically, candlestick patterns are covered in the intermediate course. So the first step is you want to get familiar with all these candlestick patterns. The second step will be join as a member. Right, and then learn our high percentage trade patterns. So our breaker pattern, our wave pattern, our two-step pattern, our DX pattern. All right, guys, learn those high percentage trade patterns because what you've been missing so far, right? how do we use these to make money? We're going to review in our members' trainings and our advanced course materials. So the third step now is going to be to use your knowledge of candlestick patterns with our high percentage patterns to now take your trades more confidently. Okay, for example, I'm looking for a breaker pattern long, I'm saying, or, or a breaker pattern short. And we see a bullish pattern, right, maybe a hammer, on our fast time frame. Okay, so I'm looking to go short. Maybe it's a breaker pattern short. Maybe it's a wave pattern short. But then I see a bullish chart pattern on the, on the same chart I'm looking to take my next trade. Guys, this tells me the trade is higher risk. Okay, and we're going to talk more about that with our members. We'll talk more about this in our live trade room. But what I want you guys to understand is, is that charting patterns, or should I say candlestick patterns, are not going to be dependable enough for you guys to simply use them every day in your trading. And that's where most trading education stops, right? That's where most of your education so far outside of our trade room, right, has kind of left you hanging. Where do I go now to make money? Right, what we're going to do is we're going to use those candlestick patterns in conjunction with our high profile or our high percentage trade patterns as well as our entry rules. And for example, if we see a bullish trade pattern and we're looking to go short, we know exactly how to treat that. Right, guys, so come out and join us tomorrow. Live trade room, either, either as part of a, as a guest of our three-week trial or come out, of course, and join us as an advanced member of the School of Trade. So guys, let's recap. Candlestick patterns are the result of human nature. We, result about, we, right, we react to fear, greed, ignorance, and hope. And we can use these over and over again because human nature, right? we love routine. And so those same candlestick patterns that came up today will happen again tomorrow. But remember, we can't take every single pattern, right? It's a little bit, it's a, there's, there's too many patterns out there. So we have to use rules. We have to use high percentage trade entries, guys. And of course, we'll recap all of that for you guys tomorrow in our live trade room. So make sure you guys come out and join us tomorrow, 745. We'll do free webinars every day at 1130 Eastern Time. So make sure you guys are here for that. The beginner's course goes over our morning routine, our indicators, everything you know, guys, is covered in the beginner's course to follow along with us in our live trade room. And then the advanced course will build on top of that right foundation of knowledge. We'll then begin to take trades according to our rules. And of course, guys, we call those trades every day live in our live trade room. Guys, my name is Joseph James. Hope the video helps on candlestick patterns today. Remember, there's far too many out there to be taking every single one. So come out tomorrow. We'll show you guys which patterns we look for in real time as we take trades live in our trade room. We'll see you guys then. 7.45 a.m. We'll see you guys then. Bye-bye for now.